Good morning students. Today you are going to learn about Greek salad. So first of all, before knowing about Greek salad, you should first know what is a salad. So salad is basically a composition of the ingredients that can be raw, that can be cooked or that can be cooled and that is served with generally a salad dressing. The word salad came from the Latin sal which means salted. Before going to make the Greek salad today you should know what are the different parts of a salad. The first part is base. Sometimes you use lettuce as the base, sometimes you use avocado to the base that is base is put on the plate to give a base to a salad. The second is the body. Body is the main part of a salad. The third one is dressing. The different types of dressing you give to the salad, you add to the salad for the taste and the flavor. Add Munich dressing, Italian dressing, vinaigrette dressing. And the last part of the dressing is garnish. Garnish, about garnish, you need to add some garnish in a salad like uh, chopped parsley, chopped bacon. After that you should also know how you can classify a salad. Salad class can be classified into two parts. One is simple salad and another one is compound salad. So today we are going to make a Greek salad. For the Greek salad we will see the ingredients first. So the first ingredient what we have here is cucumber. We have taken the fresh cucumber. In Greek the cucumber is also known as anguri. The second ingredient we have lettuce. This one is the iceberg lettuce which will act as a base of the salad. So this lettuce in Greek we can say it maraoli. Now the third ingredient, third ingredient we are using is tomato. In Greek it's known as tomata. The fourth ingredient we are using is capsicum. So in the capsicum in the Greek it is known as kokino pipero. Kokino pipero. The fourth ingredient for the Greek salad is a very versatile ingredient used in everyday kitchen that is onion. Onion in the Greek is known as kremedi. So these are the basic vegetables used for the preparation of Greek salad. A part of capsicum we can also add bell peppers to the Greek salad. We have here yellow bell peppers and the red bell peppers. So if we will add the bell peppers to the salad it will gives crunchiness as well as sweetness to our salad. So after all the vegetables, there are two more ingredients which is very important in the Greek salad as well as in all the Greek cuisine. The number one is feta cheese. It is a salty cheese which is generally put in this Greek salad. The Greek salad is also known as horataki hora salad. And this uh, olives, the second ingredient is the olives. The basic olives used in the preparation of Greek salad is the Kalamata olives. And for the dressing, we are going to use three ingredients. First one is olive oil. That is extra virgin olive oil. Second is we have lemon. We are going to squeeze the lemon for the lemon juice. And the third one is oregano. So we'll combine the oregano, lemon juice, and the extra virgin olive oil to make the dressing which is lemon oregano dressing. So let's go 